Please, let's share something before we start praying this morning. James 5, verse 16. The Bible says, confess to one another. I'm reading from Amplified. It says, confess to one another, therefore, your faults, your slips, your first steps, your offenses, your sins. And pray also for one another that you may be healed, restored to a spiritual tone of mind and heart. Can I explain further? I said the earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man make a tremendous power, dynamics in his working available. Wow, it's on the screen. Thank God. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available for his business. Power, according to physics, is the rate of work you can do. So they will tell you the power is the rate of work done. So you can do beyond your power. And what makes power available is prayers. So higher prayer, higher power, higher power, higher performance in anything you are doing. You perform better in business. You perform better in life. You perform stronger when you begin to pray. So prayer, like now, we play by playing. You know, we play football. The more you play, the more you know how to play football. So the more you pray, the more you increase your tenacity in the place of prayer. So I told you yesterday I'm going to be sharing the power of the Nicism prayer this morning. Why do we need to pray in the night? It's a practice that is fast going, but we must return back to it because there's a reason for it. Number one, Jesus, our Lord himself, instituted night season prayer as the first person to begin to emphasize on it so much. 90% of Jesus' prayer were prayed in the night. In Mark 1, verse 35 to 37. Mark chapter number 1, verse number 35 to 37. If you can give me on the screen, I will appreciate it. Mark 1, thank you. And in the morning, look at that word, long before the daylight. So he was talking about the night season. Jesus got up and went out to a deserted place. And there he prayed. You look at the next verse. He prayed. And Simeon Peter and those who were with him followed him, pursuing him earnestly, hunting him out. The next verse, 37, thank you. And they found him and he said to them, everybody is looking for you. You look at that word. So when he took the night, the day was nice. So when he took over the night season, the place of prayer, the day became nice. So it is the transaction of the night that decides the activities of the day or the happenings of the day. Jesus went to pray. The whole world was pursuing him. Hey, wow. So people of God, he takes all night for the day to be all right. I'm going to say that word again. He takes all night prayer for the day to be all right. So you will always have a good day hmm, when you have maintained a proper prayer season in the night. So our Lord Jesus Christ maintained night season prayers. And that is why all men were looking for him. Look at the next thing that our Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, our Lord Jesus Christ also prayed the night to make a quality decision in the day. Quality decisions in the day. Now, where you are today, you are there because of your decision, your choices, your, your choices, or your decision, your decision, your choices, your choices, your decision. Where you are today, two major things decide is God, and you know, God is a constant key, but your choices and decision is a crucial factor about your level currently in life. So you, Jesus decided in the day by praying in the night. Now look at it. Because whether you like it or not, you'll be making quality decisions day by day, where to go, what to do, who to marry, who to propose to, who to say yes to, number of children to have, when to go out, when not to go out. One decision can affect a man's destiny. 
So we'll look at our logic in Luke 6, verse 12 to 13. Luke chapter number 6, verse 12 to 13. Luke 6, verse 12 to 13. Look at the scripture there. He said, and it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray. They could have left it there that Jesus prayed, but they want to tell us the significance of when he prayed. Because when you do a thing matters, the difference between exams and past question is the time is the timing. The difference between exam and past question is the time. Is the same paper, the same question, the same content, the same hour of time they wrote on it, but the timing. Once the time of exam has passed, it has not been an exam. It can't pass anybody again. It has turned to a past question. So the difference between an exam and past question is just the time. Once that time elapses, he has no value to promote anybody again. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus went into a mountain and prayed. They could have stopped there. He went to pray. He's still valid. But they want to tell us that time, timing matters a lot. Timing makes some things right and makes some things wrong. There are many things that are not wrong, but they became wrong because they are done at the wrong time. And he continued all night prayer, all night in prayer to God. Why are they putting that clause? All night in prayer with God. Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. I love this. And when it was the day, he called unto himself his disciple. And out of them, he chose the twelve, whom also he named apostle. So people that will make quality decisions rightly, must learn to wake up in the night to pray. pray. We are not talking about the length of prayer in the night, but maintenance, the practices matters a lot. And the length also is good. So we're going to get there. We're going to get there. So you wake up, you pray, you fellowship with God, and you start getting dimensions in God. You start arising in the things of the spirits. Number three, the disciple of Jesus follow the same practice that they saw in their Lord Jesus Christ. They so much followed it that even Paul that joined them later also followed it. <laughs> in Acts 16, verse 25, in Acts 16, verse 25, Acts 16, verse number 25, here they took Paul and Silas and they threw them inside the prison in the day. But the Bible did not say they prayed in the day. They waited. Look at that word. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They could have said Paul and Silas prayed. Why are they mentioning the time? So timing matters. Jesus prayed in the night. Jesus took decision in the day by praying in the night. Disciples also prayed in the night. They said at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They prayed. Wow. And they sang praises unto our God. And the prisoners had them. The next verse. And the whole atmosphere changed. You know, I told you that what prayer does for you is more than you answer prayer. Prayer actually creates the presence of Jehovah around you, which is more than you answer prayer. Because you pray according to your need. But when God gives you his presence, he gives you everything, everything, everything on earth. And there were. And there was a great earthquake. So the foundation of the prison was shaken. Immediately, all doors were open and everyone chains were loosed. The next verse, please. The next verse, please. Everyone chain were loosed. Everybody became free. And the keeper of the prisoners awoke out of sleep. Seeing the prison door open, he drew out sword and he would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoner had fled, they had escaped. The next verse, please. The next verse. But Paul, with a cry, with a, with Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Look at the lesson that followed. Hmm. Then he called for light and sprang in and came trembling and fell before the prisoner. When the jailer began to bow down or prostrate for a prisoner, he shows power for a jailer to be bowing down for the prisoner. That's a total display of power. Power, power. Like I told you yesterday, power follow certain practices. Listen to me, you can't be powerful by just having gifts. No, sir. God has given us power as a gift. 
but to manifest it, it has to be generated. Physically, let's look at physics now. Anywhere you see display of power, like electricity, the sound system, all those things, it was generated by NEPA or by generator. Power is there, but you need to generate it. You need to stir it up for it to be usable. So people of God understand power is a gift, but you and I need certain practices to generate it, to make it available for our daily life, our businesses, our children, our marriages, our home, and our fears. It is critical we understand that. Number four point this morning, God's servants, parents, people of God are mandated to also pray in the night. See, leaders, everybody is one leader at one rank or the other. So that you're a parent, you're a boyfriend to somebody, girlfriend to somebody, you're a mother to somebody, you have to your children. At one level, whether in your place of work, you're a boss, every great leader, you need to incorporate this thing. Jesus pray, disciple pray, whether we are following them, we must also incorporate their practices for we to carry the dimension of power they operated in their day. Power that can open physical prison door. <laughs> That's strange. Power that can lose all the handcuffs in everybody's hand. That is strange. Power that can make everybody to be free. That is strange. Power that can compel a jailer to prostrate on the floor. That is, that, that is not normal. That's power. Everybody became born again because of the power display. And they got that power by the practice of praying in the night. So when we pray in the night, the day will be nice. When we pray in the night, the day will be nice. You know, I did a statistics when I was on campus. I realized that most of the best students time of intelligence are two one, second class of all. all the people in first class are the diligent one. Because when we begin to ask questions in class, we realize that people on two one, some of them are extremely brilliant. But the one on first class are the diligent one that reads in the night. So it is difficult to be exceptional in anything if you are not a nice person. It's difficult. You can be good. But to be extremely exceptional, night will be involved. Show me that doctor. Show me that lawyer. Show me that pastor. Show me that this. Show me that that. One thing or the other, you'll be doing it in the night. Because it takes the activity, managing the activity of the night for the day to be nice. For the day to be nice. No, so, so every great leader, every parent must learn to utilize niceness. And Luke 2, verse 8 to 9. Luke chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. Luke 2, verse 8 to 9. Let's quickly see there. Because I love scripture, I love the word of God. It has enough power itself to meet need to save souls, to save life. I was preaching like this, and one brother was listening to me. He had a high problem. As he was listening, I was teaching, he was listening, making people laugh, he was listening. And something like his scale fell from his eyes and dropped on the floor. And he being a person that wears glasses, he removed the glasses. And from that year, he's still seeing it today. From that year, he's still seeing it today. He's in the UK now, the eyes clear off, and they can see. So as the word is being shared, power is being translated. There's transmission of power to lives. Clarity, power comes. Look to verse 8 to 9. Please let's display on the screen. And there were in the same country, shepherd, talking about leaders of sheep, leaders of organization, leaders of family, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Look at that word. By night, they were not just keeping watch, but they put the time, they kept to watch. So you must watch over your children by night. As a father, you walk to your house, you pray. You move around your houses, you pray. As a woman, you lay on your children, you pray by night. Look at the next thing I follow. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were so afraid. You know, when you begin to pray in the night, you start having certain accountants. I've seen angel of God several times, but most of the time I see them in the night. After I finish praying, I can just lay or do so. Then the angel of God appears to me and start giving me some instructions about many things, about our fears of life, about this, about that. 
So those experiences comes to people that have certain practices. I'm not saying you cannot pray in the day, but the day is too clustered. The day is too busy. But nice season prayer, prayer is what we are talking about this morning. And we are not derogating any prayer on prayer. But we are talking about a dimension of prayer called night season prayer. So please maintain it. Now, the question this morning, now that you've seen that the disciples practices, Jesus practiced it, disciples practiced it, leaders of the people, leaders of shepherd, shepherd, practice it. Why do I need to pray in the night? I will give you five points and we we'll start praying because of our time. Number one, destinies are changed in the night. Jacob moved from a family guy to a nation by praying in the night. He moved from an individual to become a nation because he prayed in the night. Genesis 32, verse 24. We we'll just read down to 28, it will be very fast. Genesis 32, verse 24 to 28. We we'll just go together. Genesis 32. And Jacob was left alone, and he wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. Look at that one. He stood in the night and he was praying to the breaking of the next verse. The next verse. Thank you. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh went out of joint as he wrestled with him. Please continue, sir. And he said, let me go for the day break it. Can you see? It's a transaction in the night. And he said, I will not let you go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob, which means a deceiver, a supplanter. And he said, thy name shall not be called Jacob anymore, but your name shall be called Israel, that nation today. That is a desert land and every crop grows there. For as a prince, thou, hast, thou art power. Can you see the beginning of power? Thou art power with God and with men. And thou hast prevailed. When you want to operate in power, you must learn to pray in the night more. Thou hast power. So the origin of that power behind the nation Israel came in the night season. Jacob practically changed from an individual to a nation because he maintained a qualitative practice called night season prayer. He maintained it. He maintained it. Number two, he maintained it. Spiritual exchange takes place in the night. First King 3, verse 19 to 22. Spiritual exchange takes place in the night. Spiritual exchange takes place in the night. Spiritual exchange. First King 3. And this woman child died. They could have said the woman child died, but they qualified it in the night because she overlaid on it. Look at that one, the next verse. And she rose at midnight, look at another one, and took my son from beside me. Why the handmaid slept? Why should you be sleeping? To the extent of changing your children, and you did not know. He shows a deep sleep, and lay it in her bosom, and laid a dead child in my bosom. Look at that word. And when I, when I rose in the morning, my child saw and behold, it was dead. But when I consider it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. Look at the next verse. And the other woman said, no, the living is my son and the dead is thy son. And this one said, no, <laughs> but the dead is thy son and the living is my son. First, they spoke before they came. Look at that word. And thank God there was no DNA in those days. So there's no way they can simply understand this. Thank God for the wisdom of Solomon. If there had not been that wisdom, the two of them would have accepted their faith the way they found it. Assuming Solomon did not have the wisdom of God to decide who the original child is, they would have maintained the status quo. People of God, there are many things you have accepted. They are not your lot and portion. There are many that have consistently happened to you that were not normal. One of my sons came to meet me. She just called me from UK. I said, what happened? You've been married now for some years. How come you don't have baby? And they started crying. So what they told me was the first time the, the wife will become pregnant. And after six months, the pregnancy will dissolve. 
They will not see the baby in her womb again. Nothing will happen. Not that she menstruate. Not that blood came out. Not that she had miscarriage. They will not just found baby again. One time she got angry. Implied month. Impl 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 Is it Plymouth or Plymouth? Chap, it's something Plymouth. P L Y Plymouth. Chap, let's leave the English. Thank God for them. Implied month. Plymouth. You know so he now called me. I said, Papa, any time the pregnant, sometimes three months, four months, but one that pain was more six months. There were signs. Her body was protruded. She was vomiting. And the doctor said, you are never even pregnant. She just got angry. <laughs> she had been pregnant. For three times, baby, live baby was missing in the womb. So one day I told the husband, I said, I will call you by 2 a.m. And when I call you, whatever I tell you to do, do. So I pray, him. I wake up, I won't pray, 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 pray to two. I just called, I said, no. Nah. So we worship together. I said, do you have a baby thing? Because I told them at that time to buy baby cups. I said, start arranging it now. And they were putting in the court. They were arranging the cups. The, sorry, the court. They were arranging the court. The court, the court. They were so by 2 a.m., the woman, the man arranged the court. And I declare, I declare you pregnant now. After we prayed together for some time, pregnant now. So go and do the needful with your wife. You are pregnant. I named the baby. Now they have three children. Three children. The Lord has given them double, triple for their loss. I pray for everyone trusting the fruit of the womb. By the anointing of God upon our Papa and Victor, upon my brother, Pastor Femela, they saw me. I speak with that grace upon you. Everyone can barren, receive fruitfulness now. Everyone can financial barren, receive fruitfulness now. Financial fruitfulness, marital fruitfulness, relationship fruitfulness. There's nothing like breaking your heart again. Receive fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. So spiritual exchange takes place in the night. The third thing in the night is you attack your attacker in the night. Because listen to me, if you are not fighting them, they are fighting you. But we are not fighting the enemy as a contest. I said it yesterday. We are fighting the enemy as our subjects. The devil is defeated already. So we are not fighting inside the contest. If we are fighting the devil by contest, we can win or we may not win. No. We are fighting the devil as a contest. It's like kill and go. Discipline and hooligans. It's not a contest. They are fighting them as a soldier. Even in those days when people, area boys hear that soldier has come, they pick race. Because the soldier has not come, they were not coming to fight them as a contest. Soldier is coming to fight them as a subject. So spiritual, we attack at our attack in the night. Job 34, verse 25 to 26. Job 34, verse 25 to 26. Please give me on the screen. Thank you, sir. Job 34, verse 25 to 26. I teach, then we pray. Job 34, verse 25 to 26. Thank you. Thank you so much. Job chapter 34. Let me read it here as we move. Verse 25. Thank you. Job 30. Thank you. Job 34, verse 25, 26. Therefore, he knows what their works. And he overturned them in the night. Look at that word again. One little time. So that they are destroyed. The next verse. He strike them as a wicked man in, in the open sight of others. So people of God, you won't overturn something in your life. They said to do it in the night. He knoweth their work. And he overturned it in the night. Then he was able to deal with the wicked. There's some prayers you stand up and pray. You stand up and pray. These are practices of our fathers of it. Fathers of it. Fathers of it. You attack, you attack in the night. So whether you like it or not, people are fighting you. So don't try to pretend that I'm not doing anybody. They are not doing me. Some, some people are not even happy that you're happy. Some are not happy that good things are happening to you. So you attack your attackers back in the night. You know, I will never forget one time an incident that happened to my biological father. They say, they say a very funny woman in their lineage. When they, that was like six years ago. And my daddy had an issue with him. And the woman said, I will deal with you tonight. It was a open contest. And my father laughed and said, 
<laughs> I too know God. If you know the devil, I know God. I too will deal with you in the night. So my father came straight to my house. My wife can be a witness of this. Came to my house and he told me the contest we loved. And in the night around 12 p.m., my father woke up and started worshiping God. Started worshiping God. And he started reading some Psalm, Psalm 35. My father was speaking it loud into the air. Fight against them that fight me. <laughs> Just like practical film. Practical film. Practical film. The next day, the woman picked a lot of digits and ran out of her house. I said, wow. So this gospel is really, is this powerful that I can worship God, declare the word of God into the air, and people fighting me We see something physical and they run away. They don't know where the woman pack out with you tomorrow. Just like that. I say, wow, you attack the attack in the night. Hmm. Number four, supernatural visitation happen majorly to people in the night. When you begin to pray in the night, supernatural visitation, Daniel 2 verse 12 and verse 19, supernatural visitation, visitation, Daniel chapter 2 verse 9, Daniel chapter 2 verse number 9. For this cause, the king was angry and very furious and commanded to destroy all the wise men. You imagine there was an epidemic. What's the epidemic? The king had a dream and nobody could interpret it. So the king got angry and said, if I don't know the solution, I will destroy everybody. <laughs> but look at verse 19. Visitation of solution, verse 19. Then was the secret to the problem of the king revealed unto Daniel in the night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Can you see how powerful the night is? You will know to solve the problem of your business in the night. You know, I have some fun now. And I started with like 100 tubers of yam that I planted. So as I was praying one night in the night, I had a revelation that none of them grew. I said, God, I can't waste my labor. No more. I can't waste my labor. So I had a revelation that they did not grow. So after like two days, I went to that land. I just look and look at the even prayer. I assumed that whether it's a joke, I looked. And after like two months, they didn't grow. I got angry. I went back to the land. I anointed the land, spoke over the land in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the seed of Jacob will not seek in vain. The Bible says we shall make a decree. Say we will rebuke the world for our sake. We will rebuke the world for our sake. So God, I can't go into farming. And I will plant yam with this anointed hand. And it will not grow. And only vegetable will grow. No, sir. I'm not a vegetable man. I'm a yam and vegetable man. I began to speak with my boys. We were speaking over the land. Now, just like joke. When we return back a few weeks after, <laughs> yam that we saw that it was not going, many of them are rotting already. We saw it outside. We were able to count 31 that has come out. 31 came out. Whether the Holy Ghost replanted it or something happened, the yam that even our neighbor came to check and said, oh, we replant, we were able to count 31. I said, out of it, it's coming. It's coming. If you can have 30 fold, we have 60 fold. So I spoke again. In the name of Jesus, as I'm going now, by the time I come back, the sister would have gone. I don't care what happened, but it's happening now. It's happening now. What we thought we had given up, words change it. Visitation. Ideas will come to you in the night. Solution will come to you in the night. God will show you things. You can't show it. You start living victoriously. Wow. So the, let me just run. So now, because of our time, night season is a season of high demonic activity. I will still work by the time. I demonic activity. I demonic activity. Matthew chapter 13, verse 24. I demonic activity. There are transactions going on in the night. So as a believer, we can't just be sleeping all night. Another prayer we put forth unto them, saying the kingdom of heaven is likened to a man which so good seed in his field. The next verse. And why men slept? His enemy, he didn't say the enemy, his enemy came. His enemy. So your enemies are active basically when you are sleeping. Why men slept? His own personal enemy came. So I prophesy, every enemy having a foothold, because you have class, you've slept in the past. 
we rebuke the oppression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. So practical step to build the night season. Number one, night season is what the ancient of these, the ancient father called building an altar. Night season prayer is what they call altars that we should have an altar. Exodus 20 verse 24. So as a believer, we must have an altar. If you want to avoid the gutter, if you don't want to be slaughtered by your enemy, you need to have a personal altar, personal quality time. More than they call it quiet time. The Pentecostal call it personal devotion. The CAC call it having an altar. So you can see the same principle, but different names. So basically in the night, Exodus 20 verse 24. Exodus 20 verse 24. Now look at it. An altar of heads thou shalt make unto me, and thou shalt sacrifice therefore thy burnt offering, and thy peace offering, thy sheep, thy oxen, in all the places where I, recommend, I record my name. And I will come unto thee after you have built another, and I will bless you. So night season is the practice of an altar. Now, so let's go into practical. So what do I do? Between the hour of 12 in the night till 5 a.m., you must pick a suitable time for yourself. It can be one, it can be two, it can be 2.30, it can be three, set alarm. You need that alarm to start first. I don't need a land again. Like this morning, I've woken up for some time to pray. No matter the stress, I wake up. I don't need a lamp. It's not a lamp that wakes me now. It's responsibility that wakes me. Responsibility for the people of God, for myself, for my generation. So between the hour of 12 to 5, find the quality time. If it's 30 minutes, start some up. If it's 20 minutes, start some up. If it's one hour, okay. If it's two hours, okay. Please don't jump beyond your level. You know you are going to work the second day. You can't be doing three hours. You can be 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Just be consistent. Be consistent. It is the consistency that matters. So number one, you must pick a time between 12 in the night and 5. That's the first thing. Pick time. Whatever is not specific, is not powerful. You must be specific. One. Number two, you must understand that altars are built basically in the night. I'm going to say it again. You will see clearly in Judges 6, verse 25 and 26. It's in the night. Judges 6, verse 25, 26. Judges 6, verse 25 and 26. Thank you. And it came to pass that same night, and the Lord said unto him, that's talking about Gideon, take your father's young bullock, and even the second bullock of the 70 years old, and throw down the altar of Baal, that thy father has cut down the grove that it was it, it that is by it. Look at the next verse. And build an altar unto the Lord upon the top of a rock in the order of the place, and take the second bullock and the burnt offering, the burnt sacrifice, with the sword, with the wood of thy grove, which thou shalt cut down. Look at verse 25 again. I want to pick something from that 25 again. 25 and 26. And it came to pass that same night, that same night, pull down an altar, build an altar. Night season is the season for building an altar. So the third principle is you must enter into the place with thanksgiving, praise, and worship. So you don't just wake up and be talking. No, 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 no. There are protocols to his presence. Their protocol to presence. See, even in the relationship has to follow this process. Their protocol to presence. If you cannot follow my protocol, you can't have my presence. It's a law of life. Anybody that don't honor people's protocol, they can't enjoy access of that person. So to anybody, if you want to meet people in greatness, you must learn to follow their protocol. Please, I want to beg everybody. We are professionals. They are protocol to even to physical presence. There's a way people do if you're in a room, behave like room. I'm talking about in terms of protocol now. So they are protocol to his presence. In Psalm 100, verse, Psalm 100, verse 4, he said, Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise and bless his name. So you are entering with worship. You are thanking him for what he has done. That you don't even know yet. 
for what he has done that is written. For See, the greatest thing God has done for us are the things that are written about us. Because through what is written, when we praise God and thank God, we assess and change what is happening. So the third thing is, you know, we, we praise and worship. The fourth thing, you meditate. You know, you start praying after you praise and worship. The fourth thing, you start making requests. You make requests. You meditate. As you begin to do this practice over and over, God in his infinite mercy will begin to visit you, will begin to instruct you, will begin to help you, will begin to guide you. These are ways this power is being incorporated. These are protocol to this power, protocol to this presence, protocol to this way, protocol. When you now begin to do this, you will just see yourself operating in power, operating in power, operating in power. You just see the power level begin to grow, begin to grow because power grows by practice of his presence. As you are practicing that presence, power began to grow. I was preaching. And as I was preaching, I began to speak. I said, I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. And one married woman in church, I didn't know. I said, no, she was not really happy because she was pregnant, not knowing that they told her that the baby in her womb was already dead. And as I was declaring life, life, the baby just jacked. Bwah! Because she was planning to go for evacuation. The baby jacked. Bwah! She stood up. There were noise everywhere. And the baby, they gave back to the baby alive. The husband ran from Abuja to come and greet us immediately. Second day, but this was what was confirmed. So, so they want to go and do this, and this happened in the presence of God. Power will begin to flow when you maintain the practice of His presence. Now, please, because of our time, we need to start praying now. And the first prayer we're going to pray is to thank God for what is written about us. So, everybody, lift up your two and say, "I mean, say, Father, I thank you because it is written." that you are with me. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. I want you to begin with thank God for his presence. That's why they call him Emmanuel, which is God with us. Somebody thank him, thank him, thank him. Jesus said, and lo, I am with you to the end. Go ahead and thank God for his presence. 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 He has promised us. He has vowed to be there for us. He has vowed, he said, and I will be with you. And I will be with you. He promised that we will be with us. Lord, we thank you for your presence. We thank God for his presence. We thank God for his presence. Thank God. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Anywhere you went, he was doing good. Almighty God, he healed the leper. Anywhere, whenever you see him, they started, when the people saw him, they started wondering, anywhere he went, our God was doing good. Go ahead and thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for his power. Thank him for his presence. Somebody go ahead and thank him. Somebody go ahead and thank him. Somebody go ahead and thank him. Thank God for his presence. He's with you. Even when you don't know he's there, he's there. Because he said in his word, he said, though you pass through fire, I will be with you. Though you pass through water, I will be with you. Go ahead and acknowledge his presence. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. The second prayer, we're going to pray this one. We're going to thank the Lord. Say, Father, I thank you for your manifest presence, for revealing yourself to me more than this level. Somebody go ahead and thank him, thank him, thank him. Father, I thank you for your manifest presence. Revealing yourself to me in business, revealing yourself to me, revealing solutions to my business, revealing solutions to my marital crisis, revealing solutions to my destiny, revealing solutions to what I need to do, revealing solutions to the affairs of my life, revealing solutions to every part of my life. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I honor you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I honor you this morning. Lord, I return all the glory to you this morning. Lord, I return all the praise this morning. Father, I honor you. You have done so much that I'm behind in my praise. So God, I come this morning to thank you for your presence. Somebody thank him for his presence. Just go ahead. Go ahead and thank him for his presence. The best of us is God with us. The best of all of us is God with us. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good for God was with him. You wouldn't do good in business until, until God is with you. God was with Jacob. He was with Joseph. 
He was with all of them. And even as a prison, they became successful. Go ahead and thank God for his presence. Go ahead and thank God for his presence. In Jesus' name we pray. And this, I'm going to round up on this. The Bible said, say it after me, Father, it is written. That shall make a decree and it shall be established. So I decree as a carrier of your presence, every negativity in my life sinks by fire. Go ahead and stop negativity now. Stop negativity now. Stop negativity now. Every negative situation, negative circumstances, negative health challenges, growth in the breast, tumor, headache, growth, high blood pressure, malaria, and cancer, menstrual cramps, ulcer, sickle cell. I cause those negativity because I carry your presence. I know I carry your presence because you said it. I believe it and I act on it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause every negativity in Jesus' name I pray. I declare this morning you are blessed and highly favored. The spirit of understanding rests upon you as a church. Grace to practice what have been, you have been taught. Receive it in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, man of God. All right, people, just right there. I think we should just go on and take our next five minutes for our personal prayer. Pastor Femi is still going to bless us. So whatever other prayer you have, well, it's, 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 it's morning time. Let's start, take time to pray right now. Those personal things that you have in your heart as we are praying. If you, as God's servant began to pray, I don't know which area. If you need to have an exchange to have a great day, begin to commit it to God. You can practice those things even now. So let, let's go ahead right now. In the name of Jesus, you need to rebuke something. You need to attack something. Go ahead and do it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shukoto Voraka in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bekasoto burate keshande zeburaka te de beto kuzuko to braku zosto bekese de bedo shikete yadakaba rosas te kete nena no shata kata zebedo jan to buraka te get kuzosto ikase se 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 de be shande ge baro shata kata baloko baro zosto kutaba jan te ke bedo zosto. Jeke duko broko zeke bena nochta eke tada ya gabalo shata kadama bege zusto mbro zeke ita ya dakata ro zeke ita la ya baro shanto kubo rakate da 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 la la ba shara ba eke tele ya balo zuko to brando kuzeke ya teke shata eze duto bolo zeke ita la ya ba shati ke zuto kubo rakata da lukata leke zusto shata. Seke tele brando kuzosto, eke tele yakato kubrando so, belo shata, baro shata, eke ndu kuzosto, zeke tele yabalo, baro zeke tele belo shata na bana, eke belo shato ko, bato, eke tele yabalo shato, belo shato. Jesus, 
Test of no shot. Likitele Bedolo Shanti. Zikitalaya Balo Sosto. Shanti. Likitalaya Balo Shanta Kaba. Ike Balo Sosto. Ubrantusa. Ike Teleya Busha. Tiki Ram Bukuso. Zasu Soto. Liki Barosis. Tiki Ba. Eliki Zakat Dadani. Ike Bedolo Shanti. Kiantusto. Zikita de 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 e paloso kuto shati ke barra to suzu vati ikita ke bado zikita ni ya ta ro kite de 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 ku shata ka mundi ke suzu ikita ana bado sikita ni de de zosu suzu rante ke zikita de Jeti na kuburu tukusha ikata na yataka bendu kusasa ziki tani ya kusasa kiti da kuru shiti kila busa tuko bantu kuru busa iki tani ya bado sukuto Jesus bora katere liki bado shiti kila lika tana la bado shiti ya bado liki zosto. Et in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The Kabalos of Stoko Puraka Tedia. Bello Shanti Kiba. Bedu Kuzo Kotama. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, God's servant, speak heaven's blessings over us as the Lord puts in your heart. Keshati Kibalu Kubolu Kuzo. Lord, I boldly declare this morning. Yes. And I pray for everyone with one strange sickness or the other, growths of all kinds, malaria, mestra cramps, cancer, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I cause those infirmity now in the Amen. name of God. Every growth to melt. Amen. Every sickness is to vanish. Amen. This free favor, free favor, free favor. I proclaim over the global this to the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. Year of free favor. Year of free favor in Amen. the name of Jesus. I Amen. pray that all prayer requests of Hawa are answered in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. And this abounds. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.